What are you at, everybody? What are you at today? I'll tell you what I'm at. I am checking out Fluffy Visits Saudi Arabia. All right, so this is off the official Gabriel Iglesias channel. So be sure to head on down below, subscribe to him, show him some love and that kind of thing. He puts out amazing content. Why are we doing this particular video? I'll tell you why. Because my patrons did a variety poll. This is the one of the suggestions they got put in. This is the one that wants so it. We're going to be checking it out. Well, let's go, everybody. And speaking of subscribing, why not match my subscribe button? If you like stand up comedy and that kind of thing, I'll be doing some more of that on the channel. I love doing variety content over here as, long, as well as music. All right, hey, let's what's go. up, you guys? This let's is go. Gabriel Iglesias. Oh my God, it's fluffy. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm here hanging out in San Diego, California, getting ready for my big show tonight, as you can see. It's really big. Uh, <laughs> it's not really big. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, so, anyways, big. you guys, the, uh, this make. weekend More is the crap. encore presentation of my special Aloha Fluffy uh, on Comedy Central. Now, Comedy Central is only available in the U.S. So, for the rest of you worldwide, I want to give you guys a nice big sneak peek of mm. the uh, of the special that That's is going nice to be eventually you. available on uh, DVD or if you hack it or however you get it. But I like to know that I'm <laughs> I'm giving this one to you guys to enjoy. So check this out. This is my story about me going to Saudi Arabia. And Ooh, I'm uh, excited. you'll see, there's a surprise at the end because I wasn't expecting this either. So enjoy and please share it. Have fun. It's That's this type of long, comedy, so isn't it? get ready. This type my of comedy is telling life stories, right? Gabe, check it out. You're getting a request to perform in the Middle East. I go, really? Okay, cool. Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, who? Cool. Actually, the request is coming from a prince. Ooh. Run that by me again. A prince. I said, wow, purple okay. ring? <laughs> Not prince. A prince. <laughs> nice. I said, how do they know me? I, I, I don't know, but they say that they know you and they want to hire you. I go, it sounds like a joke, Matt. Trust me, it sounds legit. All right. If oh. it's legit, I'll tell you what. Give whoever a ridiculous figure and let them know that they have to wire the money today. Otherwise, forget it. Ooh, Four wow. hours later. Gabe. What? Ridiculous just called. Whoa, okay. Are you serious? I'm looking at the screen, bro. They wired all of it. Next thing I know. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. aboard Saudi Arabian <laughs> Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> oh man 17 hour flight you guys from Whoa. Detroit, Michigan to Riyadh, Saudi wow, Arabia okay. and just so you guys know I didn't go by myself okay I took some friends with me good good good, good. nobody from this show <laughs> <laughs> okay why not for obvious reasons the crew that I travel with, everybody's oh. hairy, big nose, goatee, beard, crazy eyes. Oh, wow. this. That's Are right. you kidding okay. me? With the, all of us, we're like Osama bin Lopez. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what the hell we are. So I took two other friends. I took one friend, his name is Edwin San Juan, who's Filipino, okay. works clean. Okay. Oh yeah. And another buddy of mine named Larry Omaha, who's Native American, who also works clean. And uh all right, so hell yeah, sure. Yeah, clean. Hold on, I want to look at the yeah. camera. Hey, Larry Omaha, no everyone's like, well, you guys have fans and they're here in Hawaii. Get your asses over here. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we head to Riyadh, 17 hour flight from Detroit. As soon as we get there, they flew us their first class, by the way. It was really nice. And the plane is pulling up to the gate, and you know, it's doing the whole, you know, and the tube is coming out to meet the plane. Right. As soon as the tube touches the plane, all of a sudden, the door on the opposite side of the plane pops open and a what? man in a suit gets on and he walks over to the three of us and he does this. Wow. And I'm sitting there freaking out okay. like, oh my God, this is like the movies. <laughs> and they pulled us off the plane and they wow, escorted right us away. to this area called VIP baggage claim. Oh, and it sounds kind of crazy, VIP, nice. and I get there and I realize, oh, they're, they're serving cookies and candy and coffee and there's leather sofas okay. and it's really nice. And there's nothing but middle eastern businessmen there okay wow. and they're all talking about me yeah i don't because... understand arabic but everyone in this room understands when someone's talking about you the guy he probably stood out a little bit eh? like because they're like he said they're all businessmen they're all in suits and that kind of thing and native to that area and everything and then he <laughs> fluffy probably shows up wearing his big like hawaiian style shirt and everything <laughs> I can only imagine. He's looking at me and he's like, I'm sorry, but this is universal. <laughs> and apparently this is Arabic for damn. <laughs> I like it.
So then this other guy walks over to me and he's holding a sign and the sign has my name on it and he's really excited. He's like, it is you, come, 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 it is you, come, 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 we go. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we grab our luggage and we follow him outside to the curb. Okay. They have three Lincoln Navigator SUVs waiting for us. Whoa, there's three nice. comedians and there's three cars. We're so paranoid that we're in the Middle East, we all get in one car. <laughs> we're sitting okay. in there. <laughs> They yeah, sent a car each for them. Why? And we take wow. off. We're heading towards downtown Riyadh, okay? Now, all I know up to this point about my experience is that I've already been paid, mm -hmm. my flight's been taken care of, mm -hmm. and I have a point person who I'm supposed to meet at the airport who's not there. Oh, so I'm no. talking to the driver. I said, excuse me, sir, where's, where's, where's this guy? It is okay. Hey, take it to him. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, okay. And for me, it's not okay because... I researched Saudi Arabia, right. and you know, you think the rules in Singapore are strict. <laughs> the rules in Saudi Arabia are very, very different, okay? And I don't want to offend anyone, and I want to make sure that I don't say the wrong thing. That's right. So I need to know, you know, some, some, I need some info. So I keep talking to the driver. I said, um, sir, would you mind helping me with some questions? Whatever you need, you ask, I tell you. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, I apologize in advance if I come across rude or disrespectful or ignorant, but, um, how do you guys know about me here in the Middle East? What do you mean, how do we know? Yeah, how do you know that I'm a comedian? I'm guessing you Comedy Central or HBO or Showtime. What is that? That's a no. That's what that is. That's a no. Um, <laughs> how do you know that I'm an entertainer? Oh, your videos. YouTube. My friend, there YouTube, you you're huge. YouTube you're the number everybody. two most famous comedian in all of the Middle East. Number two. You're kidding. I am not comedian. I don't kid. <laughs> Wow, he's a big deal over there, eh? I'm the number two most famous comedian in all of the Middle East. Yes! Who's number one? <laughs> Jeff Dunham. Okay. Jeff, I've been doing Jeff's content over here, too. Jeff's freaking hilarious. Jeff Dunham is the number one comedian in the Middle East. You guys don't find him at all offensive? Oh, <gasps> no! <laughs> Right, cause... I kill you! There you go! Wow. Wow. I just did that video. I just did the um, Jeff Dunham... What was it? I forget the name of the puppet or something, the terrorist. Yeah, I kill you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so he's... Not, is that true? That's probably true, right? Because I think Fluffy's um, stories are based off true things. He doesn't really lie very much, does he? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's all true stories. I like it. When I heard that, you guys, I was like, you know what? They get it. <laughs> they get it. So I'm like, we're cool. We're sitting. We're driving. We're heading towards downtown. All of a sudden, the driver cuts the wheel really hard, and we get off the freeway, and now we're taking a side road going away from the city. Mm. And I'm like, um, excuse me. Where are we going? We're going to the show. I go, um, it says here that we're staying in the city. Yes, you're staying in the city, but the show is somewhere else. That doesn't make sense. Why would you have oh. the show somewhere else? How come you don't have it in the city? And then he broke it down. My okay. friend, here in Riyadh, it is very different, okay? Uh, your type of entertainment is forbidden in the city. Whoa. There are people called religious police that hold up the uh, traditions. They keep it so that it's very traditional. Wow. It is not allowed. The okay. social gathering is a no-no. We must go somewhere secret in the desert. Secret in the desert? What? What a thing to tell them. Uh, all right. Um, so how many people are you guys expecting in, at the show? Easily between seven to 800 people. That many? Wow. I told you. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, you guys, we pull up to this racetrack in the middle of the desert. And Whoa, there's, a, okay. there's a giant tent set up next to it. And there's, there's 800 people, roughly, there for a comedy show. And as soon as we pull up, as soon as we pull up, <laughs> Radio start popping. I love his sound effects. And I keep hearing on all the radios. Fluffy. 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 All of a sudden, some guy runs up on the stage and they hand him a microphone and Whoa. he starts yelling to the crowd. I don't know what he's saying, but I've seen enough hip hop to recognize a hype man. Okay, he had his own hype man. Oh, yeah, he's I out like there. it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then I America. get the biggest introduction of my life. And now, direct from the United States of America, here he is, Gabriel Iglesias. And the crowd <laughs> starts going, Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. And when I heard that, I freaked out. I was like, oh my oh. God, this is going to be an amazing show. Yeah, like So they're... I ran to the stage. Man, that feeling. Like, his nerves got, like, he's so nervous because he's in a, a land he's not familiar with. And he said, like, you know, you're forbidden to do what you do in the city and this kind of thing. So he's on the edge already. But then to get there and have this super awesome hype man scream and then have the whole crowd chant his name. My God, that must have got him so stoked up. Such an amazing experience. Let's go. Let's as keep going. As fast as I could. Fascinating story. I'm not a runner. <laughs> I booked it to the stage, you guys, because I was so excited. And when I got to the front, it clicked that in Saudi Arabia, they still have segregation. And I didn't find out till the last second oh. because I saw a line going down the middle. Oh, really? And on one side, men. Other side, women. And all the women in the front row okay. were covered from head to toe. All I saw was this. Okay. Oh, yeah. I had no idea I was performing for Assassin's Creed. I didn't know. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I like it. It threw me off so bad. Give it a And I, hey, what's going on, everybody? How you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. To see a full crowd like that, you're not used to it. I froze. I've been doing this for 15 years. I don't freeze, but that threw me off so bad. I didn't know what to say. All of a sudden, men start yelling my jokes at me. My friend, do the donkey, do the donkey. Hey, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. Guy in the front, <laughs> make fun of me. Hell no. Oh, no, no, no. And the people Ducked started laughing. there pretty quick. The women were laughing just as hard as the men. You know, granted, some of them I couldn't see, but for the most part, it's like, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You know, but they're, la they're moving and laughing. I even had fun with one of the girls. I said, oh, I okay. saw your neck. She said, you're going to get me in trouble. Ooh. The Saudis had such an amazing sense of humor. They were laughing and carrying on, and I That's had no good. idea they were going to be like that. Yeah. And then after the show, I got a chance to meet some of the locals, and one guy was almost in tears. He was so emotional. He walks up to me, and he's just like... <laughs> I cannot believe that I am standing here in front of you, Mr. Fluffy. <laughs> what a thing to say. Oh, well, thank you. Please, please, when you return to United States or wherever you travel, let the people know what you saw, okay? Let them know that we are not all bad, that we are not all those bad people from Fox News, okay? Oh, wow. You let them wow. know because we see okay. Fox News, and Fox News believes that everybody in Middle East is bad, everybody's terrorist. Everybody has a bomb. Ooh. He has a bomb. He Ooh. has a bomb. He has a bomb. Oprah is here giving away bombs to everybody. Everybody. <laughs> you get a bomb. You get a bomb. <laughs> wow. Please, you let them know we are not all bad people, okay? That's right. We are not all terrorists. My cousin. Maybe. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, I'm going to die. Look at you. A plane? What plane? I got you again! Oh my oh, god. I got you. He is raising my blood pressure every seven <laughs> seconds. And then he starts breaking it down for me how stand up comedy is starting to bring people together you go. in the Middle East. That's and how good. he's starting to do, you know, he's doing comedy. It's, it was crazy, the conversation. You know, here in, the, in Saudi Arabia, um, uh, people, they, they like uh, watching the, the stand-up comedy because uh, we love to laugh, okay? Mm, we love to laugh. Go. It's great to laugh. And uh, people don't think that uh, people in the Middle East have sense of humor. They, they see videos, they see TV, they think we are the same. They say, oh, the Middle Eastern people are all angry. Look at their face, they're angry. Everybody angry, everybody mad, mm. everybody angry. My friend, we're not angry. He's hot. <laughs> okay? It's 117 degrees. I'd be angry. Everybody is not mad. They're hot. Look Woo. at everybody has a hot face. Hot face. Everybody hot I face. Can't stand I promise the heat. you give me air conditioning. I am so happy. Wow. Wow. Look at him. He's so animated. People are so animated. You gotta love it. We are okay. We love to laugh. I've been doing the stand up comedy for uh, about uh, six months now, and um, I have jokes. Good for you. Okay. May I try? Oh, great. <laughs> All right, man, go ahead. 
Okay, very nervous, very nervous. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Two Jews oh. walk into a bar. Oh, come on now. Not in my country. <laughs> Wow, wow. Man, you're gonna get my ass arrested, bro. <laughs> we wound up Careful doing of the shows jokes. all over the Middle East. We were in uh, Riyadh, Bahrain, Dubai, Qatar, Doha, and each show, you guys, was more amazing than the last show. Oh, okay. Not because there were so many people, but because the people were friendly. They were fun, they got all the references. There I couldn't go. get over that. I honestly thought that they were gonna be like the people from Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt terrible. I felt terrible because I was judging them. I was prejudging them and I thought that they were gonna be a certain way and I felt bad because all those years people were doing that to me, not really giving me a chance and I right. was over there doing the same thing. Okay. I felt so bad. And then when I met the prince, I was still judging, 19 really? years old and he's a prince. I thought he was gonna be a brat. Okay. He walks up to me and I was already like, what's up? <laughs> I failed to realize that he's a prince and right. he was brought up to be a prince. Right. The way he carried himself, he intimidated me in about 18 seconds. Okay, I'm 36. And I'm, you know, what's up? And he's like. Wow. Jibril. Excuse me? Jibril. What does that mean? Jibril. Gabriel. I understand that your name is Gabriel, but in the Arabic language, your name is Jibril. I was oh. welcoming you in our language. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's got to be so awkward of a situation And to I be started in. already imagining what was going to happen. <laughs> ah! Jibri! Jibri! <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he was so nice, you guys. He's like, I want to thank you for coming here to Riyadh and doing all of these shows. It was so beautiful to see everyone having such an amazing time, from the little children in attendance, all the way to the elderly people with a cane. Nice. Everyone had an amazing time, everyone. It was beautiful, okay, beautiful. Religious people, laughing. Religious police, laughing. Whoa. They don't laugh at shit. <laughs> Wow, even the religious I want you to police. understand how big this is. There was an American here entertaining people from Middle East. There right. was no violence, no bloodshed, no problems. Everybody was smiling. Everybody was getting along. It is possible. Ooh. An American was here. An American was here. He kept saying American, American, American. Freaking 10 years being called a Latino comic. I had to go all the way around the world to finally get called American. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it took? My God. Wow, wow, wow. I was, was excited. Great. I was like, say it again, American. Ah! <laughs> and then I had the most surreal conversation I have ever had with the person. He looks at me and he says, I want to thank you for everything. I want to invite you and your friends to come to my palace Whoa. so that I may entertain you. Whoa. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I am not getting invited to a palace by a prince. Oh my God, up until this point, my only experience with royalty was a Burger King drive through <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All of a sudden, one of those SUVs pulls up. <laughs> and a guy jumps out in a suit. And I guess his favorite word was please, because that's all he said. Please. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. 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 I'm like, are you kidding me? There's a man in a suit trying to get me in the back of a Lincoln Navigator and there's a prince inviting me to his palace. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a hot chick. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I was like, oh my God, let's go. <laughs> Hurry up, bitch, let's go. <laughs> Ooh. We get These to voices the front are of his palace, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't look like a palace. The walls are really high. There's barbed wire around the entire property and there's two guys in the front with machine guns. Whoa. I'm okay. looking at this and I'm like, this doesn't look like a palace. Okay. And I started thinking, what if I'm on some messed up episode of Middle Eastern punt? Oh, that would be pretty hilarious. You go to palace, you go to prison, you're punt! 
You're in prison. Fortunately, Have a good the life. doors opened up and we drive in and then they closed. And when we got outside, you guys, what we saw was amazing. Outside, desert. Inside, palm trees, bushes, Ooh. shrubs, a pond, and he had exotic wow. pets. I know exotic pets, because I know what I have. Okay. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> He's got a tiger! <laughs> freaking zebra! <laughs> monkeys! And he had a freaking boa constrictor. I'm like, oh are you kidding God. me? Snakes, monkeys, a zebra, and a tiger? Oh my God. Running that around makes in me the palace? Panda. <laughs> oh, nice. And I started thinking, what if he decides to keep me? It sounds messed up, but let me explain. Maybe, maybe. As an Add American, you, to the you collection. cannot just purchase an airline ticket to go to Saudi Arabia. You have to be invited by a person of power. Okay. You know, when I left Detroit to go over there, I had to fill out a form that says, I understand that I'm going to Saudi Arabia. And wow. should something happen to me, one of those things on the list being kidnapping, conveniently Ooh. right above death. Wow. America is not responsible. The prince could have actually, you're mine. Two weeks later, now he's showing someone else around, right? That is my snake, that Ooh. is my zebra, that is my Mexican, that is my tiger. Oh, no, 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 no. He what? sent us some little box that says Gibril. Oh, Gibril. <laughs> <laughs> they could do that to him? I guess but technically. It never happened. And we're walking around, and I actually pulled him aside for a second. I said, Listen, uh, I gotta tell you something. Well, you tell me. I, I need to apologize. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I just want to apologize for coming here with the wrong mentality. I says, unfortunately, I thought that uh, just, you know, because it is the Middle East, I thought you guys were going to be rude and everybody's been nothing but nice. Okay. Huh? I know. <laughs> I didn't think you guys were going to speak English so well and understand, you know, so many references and you guys get everything. Huh? I know. <laughs> I thought you guys were going to throw rocks, well, but you were funny. Oh. So if he wasn't funny, they would have stoned him. What? Never mind. Woo! Two out of three, why aren't <laughs> <laughs> So we're walking, and uh, he's showing me this and that, and we're just kind of like looking around. I thought it was great, and then I saw something that freaked me out. We're walking in the direction of a giant cage. Okay. And when I saw the cage, I stopped. I was like, ah! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's with the cage? Take a look. Great. Here we go. So I walk over towards the cage and I look inside and I notice that there's birds in there. And I was like, mm. oh, okay, cool, it's a bird cage. And he got all offended, you know. That's not regular birds. Whoa. Those are falcons. I go, okay, well, you have a lot of falcons. Uh, we we'll use the falcons for hunting. You right. hunt falcons? No, 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 no. Each falcon is very expensive 100,000 US dollars. They're trained. We go out and we shoot a little animal and we send a falcon to retreat. Nice. Would you like to see? No, 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 no. I got little dogs. I don't want to. <laughs> Bye, Bruno. <laughs> Before I know it, here comes the other guy. Please, please. Oh, my. Please. The police guy. And he goes inside the cage and he puts on this please, leather glove please. that comes up to his elbow and he starts getting one of the falcons. I'm watching him do this and I notice all the falcons are on these perches about this high okay. and there's about 15 in a row. Whoa. And they all have hoods covering their eyes. And I asked them, why do they have hoods on their eyes, man? Yeah, they look right. like little hostages. Because they panic. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect by wow, that, man. Wow, wow. Seriously. You didn't no, say that out loud now. Come on. No disrespect. I, it was a slip. And he was cool. I understand. Middle East hostage. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What a situation to be in, so Fluffy. Come on So the other guy comes now. out, and he's got a falcon with him, and he's got a glove, and he hands me the glove, and I put it on, and he transfers his falcon to my arm. Nice. And uh, all of a sudden, he starts doing snapping things, and he's basically showing me that the falcon's trained. And I right. thought that was great. I thought we were going to kill something. I'm like, no, but we were just playing with the falcon. And I started getting excited, you know? And the more excited I got, the more the prince started showing his age. Because okay. then he got excited. I'm like, this okay. is great. It is great. Yes, this is so cool. So cool. <laughs> My God, you're so lucky to have so many falcons. I am so lucky. Would you like a falcon? No. So matter of fact, like, would you like a cookie? Would you like a falcon? Same way. <laughs> $100,000 bird. Are you kidding bird. me? 
Don't give me a falcon that can retrieve things. Shoo, you think I'm oh, lazy now? Yeah, Mr. Lee needs flying around his apartment. Hell no, don't give me a poo. Uh -uh. I wouldn't even leave the house. I'd be yeah, at the front exactly. door. <laughs> Donuts. <Hey. laughs> and who the hell is going to watch my falcon when I'm up here performing? Right. I can't leave it with my buddy Martin in the back. Nope. You know he would abuse it, take it to some nightclub, try to hook up with it, freaking here. <laughs> Redhead. No, oh my God. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, my. That's the great thing about Fluffy, isn't it? Like, his style of comedy is telling stories. He just takes you along on a story, and he throws in some jokes and some funny voices and different sound effects as he goes. He loves it. He's not like punchline, punchline, set up, all this kind of stuff. He's just he's a story-type comic, and he's clean comic, and I love it. He's great. Comment down below. Let me know if you enjoy Fluffy. And let me know if you want more Fluffy on the channel. Thanks for recommending this Patreon. You're freaking awesome. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Peace and love, everybody. I'll see you later. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.